Um, <laughs> I'd like to call my parents right now. Sure. Use my lifeline, call my parents. What are their names? Oh, um, my father. I'll talk to my father. Does Tom. he have a name? Tom. He does okay. have a name, yes. <laughs> Tom. All right. Our friends at AT&T will get uh, your dad on the line, and we'll see if he can help you. Hello? Hello, Tom. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi. We've got uh, your son, John, uh, with us right now. He's doing pretty well. Good. He's won a half million dollars. Wow. And he's going for a million dollars. <laughs> and he needs your help to get there. Okay. So he's going to come on the line, read a question, four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. And uh, the next voice you hear will be John's. John, you've got 30 seconds. Starts right now. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> Uh, because the U.S. president appeared on Laughing is Richard Nixon. That's my final answer. Well, my gosh. What can I say except, Debbie, you're going to Paris, so this is the final answer heard all around the world. He's won a million dollars. Here it is, my man. Congratulations. Oh. I took astronomy in college. I took it a long time ago, my first semester of my freshman year. Remember anything about these two and their relationship in terms of distance? I have thought. Um, my, my thought is 93 million miles. And, you know, all the numbers revolve around that. Not 39, not 9.3. I'm pretty sure it's 93. So I'm going to make that my final answer. Guts ball, my friend. Take Guts a shot. ball all the way. Let me repeat this. Is this your final answer? This is my final answer. You just won a million dollars! say a moth for a million dollars a moth i gotta ask you this joe mm -hmm. is that your final answer yeah a moth he just won a million
question, Donna, and then two possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Okay. Go ahead, Bob. Okay, Donna, it's a chemistry question. Which of the following men does not have a chemical element named for him? Albert Einstein or Isaac Newton? Which of the following men does not have a, an element named after him? Einstein or Newton? I believe that Newton does not have an element. I think you're right. Newton. Fairly sure? Yes, real sure. Thank you, Donna. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, she's a genius. If it's wrong, I'm the goat. And that would be bad. Uh, <laughs> no, that would be $468,000. I'm going to go with C. Isaac Newton. He's going with C. Isaac Newton. Going for the million. Could walk out of here with 500,000. Taking a chance, going for a million. Final answer. Final answer. He won a million dollars! Sofa. Okay, we're going to do it again. Is that your final answer? Yes. Get that closet ready, Bobby! <laughs> David, you've got 30 seconds starting now. In the children's book series, where is Paddington Bear originally from? In the children's book series, where is Paddington Bear originally from? Peru or Iceland? Peru or Iceland? One of those two. Positive. 110%. Anyone else? Uh, sounds like Peru. Are you sure? You sure. Yeah. How certain? Got 100%. All right. Uh. <sighs> First, All right. you had the audience go with Peru. Mm -hmm. Then Hagai yeah. came out 100%. All right. And well, I think you knew it all the while. Well, this is an awful lot of money to risk. Yeah, I don't blame you. Sure. So we narrowed it down. We went mm -hmm. through it. All right. So what's your final answer, big boy? I will say, B, Peru. If you miss, you're going to lose $468,000. Did you just give me your final answer? Or do you want to... I think I need a moment. I will say, B, Peru. I'll do it. And that's your final answer? Yes. You can buy a new car. You just want to be your One more question. 
one more question, no lifelines. It's all up to you, and here it is for $2,180,000. Let's play. <laughs> Who is credited with inventing the first mass-produced helicopter? Igor Sikorsky, Elma Sperry, Ferdinand von Zeppelin, Gottlieb Daimler. I know this. It was the Sikorsky helicopter. So I'm going to make Sikorsky my final answer. Just won two million. A, B, C, or D. Vote now. Well, 16. Well, see if there's only two. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, you know, you still have that lifeline. And just for the heck of it. That's right. Maybe it's not in. And we'll find out if you, if you go for it. But I, N and L, I, I'd say, would be the top two. I don't know why. So let's, let's do the 50-50, Regis. Good idea, Ernie. <laughs> Hey, computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please. Jeez. And still there. Jeez, so I could call up Bob, who... No, no, Bob's gone. Oh, right. yeah. And don't you dare, and don't you dare call your father. Not now. Right. Well, you know, you know, just $32,000 would still buy me a, a sofa. Get you a lot of things, yeah. But now, did you think it was you? Did you say that? No. No, okay. Fine. Did you hear me say that? No, I thought, I thought... What did you think it was before we went into this? I thought it was L. L, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was L or N. Well, L is gone. L is gone. And a final answer, Regis. He just made a million dollars! Ah! I told myself if I got to, I mean, I, I thought it was a little unrealistic at the time when at, back at home thinking about possible scenarios, if I got to a million dollar question and had a 50-50 that I would guess for. Well, now it's a million eight hundred and sixty thousand. I know. I know. Um, I'm giving myself a chance to back off, but I really to go for it. Let's just go with insecticide. Okay. I gotta ask you one more time. You know what I'm gonna ask you, Ed? Your back's against the wall. You can't go any further than this. For the last time tonight, you're gonna hear me say, is that your final answer? C, insecticide is my final answer. Got it!
think you know it? Yes, ma'am. I just want to make sure I'm reading it right. Uh, a ways back, there was an Asian gentleman who read a question. I read it the same way he read it. The answer was nectarine. He read it as tangerine. We just sat there and read it as tangerine. We, in other words, we all saw the same question. We all got the same wrong answer because we all read it too quickly. Okay. And uh, I just, I'm not milking the moment. Trust no, no, me. no, I just, please. Do you want me to read it again? Would, Would that, you please? Sure. Just... The U.S. icon Uncle Sam was based on Samuel Wilson, who worked during the War of 1812 as a what? Meat inspector, mail deliverer, historian, weapons mechanic. A meat inspector, final answer. I'm so excited. <laughs> million dollars. Are you ready to see it? I guess. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Who did artist Grant Wood use as the model for the farmer in his classic painting, American Gothic? Traveling salesman, local sheriff, his dentist, his butcher. I lived in Washington, D.C. for a whole lot of years. And I used to be a part of a performing group. And we opened the show one time with a diptych of American Gothic. And I was, you know, the lady and all of this. That was his sister, but the farmer was his dentist, C. And that's my final answer. We have our first woman as a millionaire. You know what? What the heck? Let's take the risk. Yeah. Double dip. Yeah. I'm gonna give you two seconds to think that one over. Are you sure before I ask you for your final answer? Because once you say you're gonna do it, you have to do it. Final answer. I need a confirmation if you want to do it. I'm Double dip. Confirm. Okay. He's going for it. All right, so what is going to be your first double dip answer? I'm going to go with my gut and say C, Johannes Kepler. Final answer. Final answer. The bad news is you just wasted a double dip, but you got the answer right. <laughs> Six billion now. You got to figure out the attrition rate, how many people die, how long lifespans have been since the biblical times. Six billion. Fifty billion would be too low. One trillion would be too high. Yeah. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, what the hell? B, 100 billion, final. No, it's not 100 billion. It's, it's actually 106.5 billion, but we rounded it down to 100 billion. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.